in special edition of Air Dagger Station playing World of Tanks. This time it's a um, British tank, Grand Tier 4. But like you see, it looks almost exactly as uh, American M3. Right? Uh, so, I picked up the American beer that it brewed in England uh, by Marston's. So, Shipyards Brewery American IPA brewed by Marston's in England. So, I think it is a you know perfect uh, beer for this tank. Right, so what they say about uh, this tank? What's the history? Right, details. This variant of the M3 Lee was manufactured in the United States specifically to the sup uh, to be supplied in the to the UK, where it was uh, designated the General Grant Grant One. Actually. It wasn't called General Grant, it was just called Grant. Right? Uh, American um, names were with generals. Right? Um, right, so it is uh, some misconception with the names. Actually, most of the uh, this kind of names are brought by Americans, not British soldiers um right so what we have here m3 so we will be uh shooting with this main gun and uh, there's no double barrel um or double gun mechanics yet maybe in the future what we have at the moment uh 75 millimeter m3 Gun, so American gun. We could choose a British six pounder, but I would rather have better um, alpha damage than uh, penetration. I think it will be better for this tank, anyway. Uh, okay, so let's battle. Uh, I hope it will be decent, decent uh, game. <laughs> well, I just hope. <laughs> I can end up with like one shot at my by KV2, for example. Ah, so we have American beer combining the finest malted barley with a whole bunch of audacious American hops. This refreshing and gusty American IPA is crisp, refreshing and explodes with a grapefruit and citrus flavor. Wow! Overload! Overload! Good, good map! Good map! So I, I don't know if we had uh, this map already on this series, but it is um, D-Day map, you know, Overload. As you can see, no Monday beaches. Uh, what I should do? Uh, I have a gun on the right side. I can't go on the left. I think I will go on the right. It will be difficult. Um, it, but, well, I will try. I will try. Why not? Okay. Uh, let's go on the right. not very uh, fast tank like you see just uh, doing 40 kilometers not even uh, per hour pretty old <laughs> I would say and here's the end of the map I uh, just going too too much on the right Well, let's make a surprise for uh, uh, enemies. Let's go this way. Uh, 
Them five stewards. All right, go, 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 go. Destroy it, destroy it. De ah. Uh. Can I see him? No. Come on. Hello, wake up. Uh, this. Wow, 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 wow. can I say? It was stupid. It was really stupid. Hello again. I'm, I'm sorry I had to record this uh, degustation once more because of the technical problems. Uh, uh, stupid OBS just crashed so I've recovered half of the um, material. So it looks like I finished uh, after battle uh, on uh, Pouring the beer, right? So it's shipyard American IPA, uh, brewed and bottled by Marston's. So it's you know American but English, and that's how how this tank is. It's truly American design, uh, made especially for British. Um, right, we can win ultimate trip to shipyard brewery in Maine, USA uh, here okay cup silver with the brewery's logo um, what the 5% ABV shipyard American IPA uh, combines the finest malted barley with a whole bunch of audacious American hops this refreshing and Gutsy American uh, IPA is crisp, refreshing, and explodes with a grapefruity citrus flavor. Okay, uh, so let's just pour it out and um, judge uh, this beer how it is. Right, here it is. Nice golden color, clear, small head, uh, small and medium bubbles, it looks alright, the uh, foam is quite creamy, mm, nice hoppy aroma, lots of citrus, uh, lots of uh, pine, but mostly citrusy aroma, yeah, it's nice, nice hoppy mix. Um, yeah, it, it just brings a smile to your face. Yeah, a little bit multi. Yeah, but definitely nice, uh, juicy and uh, citrusy. Okay, uh, I've just started new battle. So let's have a sip before it and uh, concentrate on the um, gameplay. Oh, nice citrusy, zesty uh, taste. Some maltiness, but not so much. Some grapefruity bitterness. Mm, uh, piney accents. Mm. Yeah, it's quite quite dry. Um, I would say medium body, quite refreshing. Hmm, nice. Hey, what I'm doing? What I'm doing? You know. Right, so actually quite uh, enjoyable, um, refreshing uh, beer. But you know, uh, bitterness it's not not very severe. Well, you know what? It is like hint probably that it is tailored a little bit to the uh, British taste, so it's more moderate. The number of conversion. Uh, I'm not sure 
um, but it can be. Hmm. Um, carbonation, you know, when you're drinking, uh, you don't feel that it's too high. It's 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 fine, but it is quite gassy, and uh, you know, you you can uh, have some reflexes there. You know what? Actually, it's quite quite nice and refreshing, uh, and you know, quite light and um, you know, enjoyable. Yeah, you know what? Nice, nice, nice to drink it. Definitely. Oh come on! This is end of end of this this game. That's what I said. Heavy tank there. This is just stupid. Ah oh, no! Let's 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 watch this misery. So I think it will be short battle. Uh, okay. So. Uh, Actually, I like this beer. Um, you know, there's no extremes in here. It's just um, nice, citrusy, zesty uh, aroma and taste. But actually, it's you know, quite, quite nice. Definitely, definitely, uh, it is like you know, everyday, everyday uh, IPA. Quite light, yeah. I like it. Oh come on! This will be rip off now. Looks like two to seven. Um, right. So what we? have here um very short battle it looks like so i will just give you another one why not and bam see one shot oh this is good to uh, french artillery like you see the the sash uh, mm, chassis are made of a uh, heavy tank b1 which removed the gun on the bottom, like you see here. Superstructure added uh, with a bigger gun. You know what? It is a premium artillery, but you know, quite, quite good one. What we have here? Last three tanks left. Ah. Okay. So, uh, I think this beer is quite enjoyable, like I said, and it can be, you know. Can be good for for barbecues for you know uh, sharing with friends because it is moderate enough to each introduce someone to the craft craft world. Yeah, nice. It's bitter enough, but still enjoyable. All right, one one more time, one more time. I don't know if you can see, but I have you know girls girls on tanks uh, modification here. And that's why some tanks are uh, painted exactly how they were in um, animated series. What else I can show you? Oh, Sherman. 
KV2. Okay, All right. So let's go, let's come back to our our grunt. Uh, last battle. I will not uh, torture you with the <laughs> this tank. You have to play with this tank like uh, most of the time as a um, tank destroyer. Yeah, quite nice grapefruit to bitterness throughout beer, not only on the finish. The finish is very smooth and uh, you know, delicate actually. You have the grapefruity albedo there, but it's quite moderate, really. Um, okay, how it looks like. Recently, just um, loads a little bit longer than usual uh, you know maybe maybe my heart disk is um, you know quite full who knows um let's see let's see how it will be this time and i hope i would not need to like uh, you know <laughs> uh, record this uh, again and again Let's go. Right, we have a standard button. Okay, looks Try to find some tanks, scout. I would like to know where to shoot. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where did you go? Where is it? Show yourself, my friend. I'm just afraid to do there. Right, looks. Okay, we go. You can't see this. This uh, enemy looks there. Hi, right. Shinokai. Go, 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 go. Go. I'm the second line tank, not the first one. Go, go, go. T14 right. is actually very well uh, armored. So probably I, w I would have you know difficulty to. Penetrate this tank. Right, spare more ammunition. And I'm stupid enough. See, I couldn't penetrate him. And that's it. Unfortunately. But it is a chance. It is a chance for win. Oh, 
Okay. I skip this part. This this one is more exciting. I like this tank very much. Looks. Uh, it's very enjoyable uh, to play. Where's the clock? I don't know if you could hear, but I uh, don't know. It was a nice clock chime. Okay, right. So let's let's come back to beer. Just a very very ordinary um, label. Some Anchor American IPA. I don't know if they just uh, you know for the British um, market add the Anchor you know to say that it is the same you know mother of uh, all IPA modern IPAs you know from Anchor Brewing. Who knows? Who knows? It's just a marketing. Uh, well. Of course, uh, you know the brewery is called Shipyard, so why not? Well, five percent, decent, decent enough. Um, IPA. Well, you can say American Pale Ale, maybe, uh, because it's so soft and delicate and you know and moderate. But you know. Uh, Green King calls uh, you know, they beat us IPAs. So, pfft, why not? Okay, so we have only artilleries left. Nice. One more to go. One more to go. So probably this uh, you know, light tank will have a, a best result in game. Yeah, he has already uh, five kills. It's all right. Oh, over there, over there. Oh no. You have automatic automatic gun. It will be quite difficult to score a hit, hit from from such a distance. Come on, come come, come closer. You have a nice, a nice speed, so you can you can go sixty kilometers per hour. All right, finished. Good. So half decent game for the for the end. Uh, it is a decent beer, uh, but you know what? For the craft geek, you know, uh, just a plain beer. <laughs> That's what I would say. That's what I would say. It's the average, average American pale I would say. Enjoyable, uh, but who knows what impact had the Marstons on this beer. Uh, it would be nice to compare original American version with this one. To say exactly, is it exactly the same beer? Or, you know, the English brewing uh, methods change this beer. Who knows? Uh, if you know the difference, please comment it uh, in uh, under this video, so we all know. I hope you enjoyed this video, so please like it, please subscribe my channel, and when you've done it already, hit the bell button. It will remind you about every new video on the channel, so you'll be up to date. Cheers.